Hey, Intro to Digital Arts. I'm going to walk through week five, the contour drawing, which is a formative assignment with you. I'm going to be showing this on the iPad, but as I go through it, it's basically all the same thing for a desktop or laptop as well. So in Adobe Photoshop, we're pretty good at creating a new document. Depending on what your still life looks like, is how you're going to set up your document. So to give you an idea of what I'm looking at right now, I just took a quick picture. This is my still life that I'm looking at right now. I've set up three objects. It's good to set up like three or five objects for this. We're going to be just focusing on the outline of the objects. So don't need to include all of the detail of it, and I'll talk about that as we go. Because I took my picture horizontally, I'm going to set up my document horizontal. You could also set it up vertical, so it's tall, but it's completely up to how your still life looks like. So let me get back to Photoshop here. When I'm creating a new file, on the iPad it's the blue plus, and then on the desktop or laptop, it's create new. I'm going to set up a new document. It's in inches, 11 by eight and a half. That's perfect. And everything is set up good here. I can go ahead and press create. Once I have my surface here where I'm going to be working, you're going to be looking at your still life as you draw it. So it's kind of hard to tell in this video, but right in front of me is my still life. And then I'm holding on to my iPad on the edge of my desk. So I've got both of them there. If you're on the computer, you can have your computer on one side looking at your still life next to you. So that still life is an arrangement of objects. I'm gonna right away create a new layer. And this is just gonna be a quick sketch. Digital artists usually make their quick sketch in like blue or just like another color that's not black, just so I can start to think about how I'm gonna place these objects. I'm gonna look at my brush size here. I don't like that. So I'm gonna go to a hard round and just make it a little smaller. Perfect. So in my picture that we looked at, I have my table ledge, which I'm just drawing right now. And then I have one, two, three objects, and they slightly overlap. When you're drawing out your still life, think about how they're overlapping to help you draw it out. So I have my candle holder, which is right about here. And right now I'm just making a quick sketch. I'm going to fine tune this in a little bit. Next to my candle holder, I have like this beauty spray bottle. And then in front of that, I have like this little travel size lotion. So those are my three objects. I think my candle holder is a little, yeah, comes down a little bit more towards me. So I'm looking at how the objects are all related together. If they overlap, like what's happening here, I'm going to include that as well. Once I have this sketch, it's a pretty big size because it's taking up most of my paper. I can go ahead and make a new layer. And this is where I'm going to draw each object individually. So now that I have that nice blue, and I like that size brush that I'm using, I'm going to go to black, and I'm going to start to zoom in and then finally draw the outside line of my candle. So at the top, there's like a lip, that edge, and there's another edge that goes around with it. At the side, comes down and goes back up. There is like this detailed pattern that's on my candle holder. But I'm not going to include that because the contour line drawing 
is just the outside of the object, anything that really makes the object as is. Now that I have my candle holder in one layer, I'm going to make a new layer for my next object. I'm going to zoom in and as I was drawing this, I realized it's a little different than the way that I first draw it out or drew it out. At the top, there was an edge that came back. Come on, brush. There we go. There's this edge here. And there was the, this top part where the cap is. And there was another line for the cap as well. So I'm including all of that detail for the outside lines. If I wanted to, I could continue the line here and a line here as well for drawing that, but I'm not going to because that lotion bottle and that candle holder are in front of that. Next, making a new layer for my travel size lotion, which as I'm drawing this, there was another little detail at the top that I can include. The cap. And zoom it in so I can really get that detail here. There's another little line here, and I'm focusing on the lines that make up each object. Once I have the contour lines, I made that all with a hard round brush, which exists both on the desktop and the iPad. I recommend using that hard round brush because it gives you a really nice, clean contour line, which is what we're looking for. So now that I have this drawn out, I'm going to go and click on my layer that I did in blue and I'm going to make that invisible. So both on the iPad and on the desktop in your layers, there's this little eye icon. And if you click on the eye icon while you have that layer selected, it's going to make your sketch or anything that you don't want to show disappear. Now that I have that gone, I'm just going to go back into some of my layers and clean up any detail or use my eraser tool, which I have very big right now. <laughs> and I can go into this layer and I can erase and clean that up. Maybe on the outside there too. Go back with my brush. I'm just going to touch that up. That looks so much better. Now that I have my contour line drawing with my objects, one thing that I'm going to do to finish this here is make a new layer. I'm just going to click and move this to the top. And in the bottom right hand corner, I'm just gonna make this a little smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and put my artist signature with the year. And now that I have this completed, my contour line drawing with my still life objects, just focusing on the lines that make up the object, not the detail of it. Then I can go ahead and make sure my layers are showing. So two different ways to do that on the iPad. On the desktop, your layers are on that bottom right corner. Make sure it's showing. And then I can take a screenshot. And that's what you're going to upload onto Blackboard.
If you have any questions after watching this video, let me know in an email.